Hi, Nana here. Welcome all of you to the next uh, edition of my one of my videos now. Right? This, in this video, what happens, I'm going to talk about the corrections on an inspection receipt routing. It is actually really complex. Another way is you understand it clearly, you will not be able to understand where the material is. When you perform a correction, what happens, it goes stage by stage backwards. And then you have to identify where exactly the material is. Now. Fine. Many companies, are, many people are normally confused upon this now. So I will be making a record on this now. Let me go and then show you what exactly is the corrections on an inspection desk Go there. So here I will now go and then log into the system now. I'm sorry. <clears throat> go there. I will now log into the system now. Go there. So let us now go and then log into the system now. The one. <clears throat> so I will now log into the G50. One of the uh, accounts I'm now logging in. So go inside. <clears throat> And let me first of all create an item now. Fine. I'm going to create an item. Uh, you go to the product management and then go to the product information management from there. What happens? Let me create a new item for test now. There. So click on create an item. <clears throat> so it's uh, the root organization is 500. That is the master of image. What happens? You're going to create it now and go there. The item class is the root item class. I'm going to populate it now and, go down. and then let me apply a created template fine with all the uh, required attributes on so click on okay so this is copied from a purchase item template so i made it now and go there it's i will say nana underscore <coughs> fine. insp underscore test fine it is a out of the corrections on an inspection receipt routing receipt routing that's what it is. So I'm going to perform corrections on inspection as a product pen. Go there, click on the specifications, and then here uh, on the disk price is now getting defaulted from the items list price now. And go there, click on the purchasing, and then have a look at it now. <clears throat> so we're having this now. So it's only for So here in uh, Fusion, what happens is they have added uh, three more attributes over here now. Fine. These are all these attributes are not available in the EVs at all. Fine. They have been added over here now. <clears throat> If I go there, so uh, these are all the attributes which have been added over here now. <clears throat> go there, and then afterwards I will now go and then as I associate to the child log. So let me associate to the child log and click on the associations. And then here I'm going to add it. I go to the actions and then go to what? Select an add and then let me add it now. So I am now going to add it to your child log. Five zero one. Then go tap. So click on <coughs> magnifier and then play with the child log, which I'm going to wait now. I click on it. So it is now done. So it is now added to the child log. I'm going there. and then. I will now save and close. So I up as a nana inspect test is not ready. So let us now go on and create a purchase order for this. Go there. And then we'll not create a purchase order. Fact, click on the home icon and then go to the procurement now straight away. We are now going to perform a, what happens the inspector is reporting, and then uh, we will now see the corrections which are getting enhanced on this. Click on the purchase orders. So let me create a purchase order for this now. <clears throat> we'll now click on the create order on the task carousel now. I am now going to the purchasing area. And then from there, what happens? I'll create an order now. <clears throat> so click on the task carousel. Fine. Go to the purchasing area first of all. I made the wrong go. I go to the purchasing area. And then from there, what happens? I'll go and then create a purchase order. I click on it now. I'm not going to make a purchase order. I click on the create order. So I'm not creating a purchase order now. For this testing the inspection to supporting fine. J50 is the supplier. Go there. No orders. Click on create. And go there, go down, and then here, whatever I'm putting a plus now. Fine, go to the lines area, <clears throat> and then click on plus now. So let me put the item now. Go there. It is an online inspect test. Fine, nana underscore insp, and then the test item will be coming. I will create one more item also for this now. So we go there, and then we'll populate my inspect test item over here now. <clears throat> nana underscore inspect underscore test is item. Go there. I will not put the inspect test item over here now. Go there. It's getting popular. I will not go on quantities now. Quantities. And then afterwards, I go to the schedules. Fine. The, the price is now defaulting from the item. I click on the schedules now. The schedules, what happens? We have to give either one of the dates now. Okay? Either the requested date given by the requester or the promised date given by the supplier. One of them is a mandatory one. So go there. I click on it. 
other part of the same put this public and this one so i know that and then you select it and then you edit now trying to find it in the schedules i'm going to edit now find select and then edit now i'm going to change the result routing from the direct inspection result required so let's make a change on this now go down and then here i'm now make a change of the result routing to inspection required <coughs> good so it's not done fine click on okay and then what happens that do the 2039 purchase order is now going to be approved fine submit it for approval so let me submit for approval and then we will now perform the result now i click on submit <coughs> So 2039 is now submitted to approval. Now we go there, we'll now make a result. So we have already made a, what happens a, a documentation here now. It is a demo on the receiving and corrections on the inspector's reporting. So we have a PO for 100 quantities and then expected is 100. Now supplier is now supplying only 85. So we're going to make a gate result for 85 quantities on the screen. We'll go there. So let us go on and make a gate result. And click on the home icon. And then from there, we'll now go to the warehouse operations and then they go to the results now. In this place, what happens? You're going to make a result. Now, I go to the warehouse operations and then click on results now. Click on results. So, warehouse operations results, I'm going over there. And then here, I'm going to make a result. Now, it'll ask for the organization J501 of the R. Thank you. Okay. Fine. Enter it. The R number will be coming on the right hand side. Fine. Click on this. Just click on the task carousel and then go to the receive expected shipments. It is a 2039. It's a purchase order number. 2039. And then you tap. And then click on search now. It will be showing you. So, go there. Select it and then click on receive now. I'm going to make a gate result. Now. Thank you. There. So I'm going to make a gate result now. <clears throat> it will not show you, uh, if you click on the show result quantity, it will not show you how much is expected from supplier. It will not say 100 is expected. So the delivery challenge is not showing only 85. Fine, the supplier is not, the carrier driver is not given the delivery challenge to the gate man. So it is not showing only 85. So based upon it is giving. Since it has to go to the receiving section, what happens? We cannot populate the submit at all. Submit cannot be populated. If the result routing is going to be, what happens? The inspection required. First, we'll go to the result routing. Fine, click on the gate result. So by which we will be getting a GRN. Fine, go there. Fish fill the shipment number. And then the packing slip, the number of units, and then a shipment date, we will, etc., etc. And that will be a good value addition to the GRN actually. Later on, what happens? We can even take a report on a particular GRN. So it will give you a lot of information on this one. So click on submit by which what happens? The goods result note will be created now. We'll now have observation. So 2039 is a PO number, 1025 is a GRN number. For 2039 PO, 1025 is a, is a GRN number. Okay, it does not happen. Now what happens? You go there and then have a look at this now. Fine. And then we'll now have a look at the what's called the inventory area. Fine. Go there. You go to the warehouse operations and then go to the inventory and then we'll now see the stock of this now. And go there. <coughs> we'll now have a look at the stock now. And click on this. Click on the warehouse operations. And then we go to the inventory. And click on the inventory. I'm not going to have a look at the stock. So J501 is an R. I can choose it now. Fine. J501. And then give it a and then click on OK. That will be coming on the right side. And then here I will not put the item over here. It is Nana underscore INSP underscore test is the item. Fine, give it a tap. The description will be coming automatically over here now. Fine. So here you put every tick mark now. Inbound receiving and what happens if you on hand and click on search now. It will not show you how much is there. Fine. So we are expecting 15 more from the supplier and then the receiving section has got 85. On hand has got nothing. So in the bottom, what happens if you click on the inbound details, it will not show you for this 15 quantities which purchase orders are basically responsible. So if you have multiple POs, it will now list down all the POs on the inbound details on this bottom. Fine. If you expand it, what happens? You won't be having any variance. So fine. This is the organization. Fine, expand it. And then it is not having any variance. Fine, the orders. So we are not in the receiving section, we have 80 and then we are expecting 50 over here. And go there. So 1025 is a GRN number. Fine, go there. Click on done now. Let us now try to go on then deliver this now. Fine, go there. Click on it. So click on it. And then go to the put away. So the put away is basically a deliver of EBS now. Fine, click on the put away. It is now in line with the yeah, what's called your uh, what's called the warehouse management system, which is going to come in release 13 actually. I'm now putting this one zero two five. Click on search now. <clears throat> so one time search it is now push now. Fine, nothing is available at all. So here what happens? Otherwise, you inspect it, we cannot do it. But if you do the uh, what happens? The result routing override, then we can even deliver it. We can even bypass that now. Fine, as of now it's not bypassed. So what happens? We are unable to query anything at all on the one zero two five. So we have to perform an inspection. So let us go there and then perform the inspection on this 85 one. Fine, go there. So the what happens? It will not show this now. Fine. So this received TT is not going to have 85. We'll not go and then have a look at it now. Fine. Click on done now. And then go to the corrections and then have a look at it. Fine. Go there. So I will now open up one more area and go there. One more tab region. I'm going to see it. And then I will now see the corrections there directly on this. Fine. Go there. Click on this now. Click on the warehouse operations and then go to the inventory. <coughs> fine. Go to the warehouse operations. And then go to the results again. Fine. Maybe I'll now go to the results. And then there, what happens? I'm now going to show you the corrections actually. <coughs> so J501, your entry. And then there, I'll now go there. Click on it. Click on the task carousel again. Again, what happens? I'm now going to go to correct results. I'm now going to perform a correct results. 
in the correct zips i am not going to put the gr number that i am going to query fine 1025 then give it tap and click on query it will not show you the received transaction type is now having adp quantities on the screen fine there is no receive in ebase it will be showing as receive and then here what happens it will be saying received as adp so the, this quantity is nothing but the parent quantity of the tt which is now lying as of now fine at any point of query whenever you are making a query what happens the particular tt will not show you the transaction type will not show you how much quantity is now available you know now what i am going to do i am not going to perform an inspection i am not going to what leave alone 10 quantities over here now <coughs> 60 plus 75 Fine. And then what happens? I will now only take seventy-five for inspection. Out of eighty-five, I will not take seventy-five for inspection. And then keep ten on the receiving area itself. Fine. Go there. And then I am going to segregate them as what accepted and rejected. Fine. Go there. Not do it now. So go to this area. <coughs> I will now perform what happens? Yeah, inspection now. Fine. I will now inspect receipts. The one. So click on the inspect receipts against the receipts. I will now let us now do the inspection. So one zero two five is the GRN. One zero two five. And then give it a tap. And then click on search now. We are searching this GR for this now. Find select it and then click on inspect. I am going to make an inspection now. Then go there. In this order, I will now split the line first of all. Go to the actions and then go to split lines. Let me make it into two lines now. Fine. So you must select the row. You are not selecting. Fine. Click on select it now. Select it then click on actions and then go to split line now. So I am going to split it. Fine. I will now say what happens? Sixty. Uh, uh, Fine. Original line is eighty and then I will now split it for sixty now. Sixty and then click on OK now. So sixty is a one. Fine. Well, then the owner is coming as well. So twenty-five. So two lines are there. So as per the plan, sixty I am going to accept. I am going to have an accept. And then reject. I am going to make fifteen. I go there. Sixty. What happens? I am going to accept. No. Fine. I will not give appropriate inspection reason. Also fine. Is above average. And then this I am going to make a change to twenty-five to ten, fifteen. No. Fine. Fifteen. I am going to make. And go there. I will not say it's poor. Fine. Rejected and notify or unaccepted. No. Whatever it is. So here I will not change it to reject. So I have not performed. And accept and reject on the inspection. Right? Only seventy-five quantities I have taken now. Out of eighty-five, I have taken only seventy-five quantities. Ten is still remaining on the receiving section only. Right? So that what happens? They go there and then perform this now. I go there, click on submit now. So once you perform it, what happens? The sixty and fifty-five, the inspection is transactions are completed. Fine, click on OK. And then here, if you go there, go to the corrections area and then make a re-query on this now. Fine, go there. In the correction, if you go and then make a search, you will see the line would have got split. Fine, go there. So one zero two five. Once again. The inspection is now completed. Now I go there. Click on search now. So once we search it, what happens? I don't show you the entire eighty-five over here now. Uh, it has to get split into three lines actually. It has to get split into three lines now. So two zero three nine is the one. Fine. Uh, <clears throat> once again, here uh, we have completed the inspection actually. I click on done now. <clears throat> uh, it has to show me as three lines actually. I go there here itself. I have not done. Afterwards, I think we are doing it. I think I have done it very fast or what? It is a correct zip zone. If I click on search now, it has to show me as three lines now. It is showing me as only one line of the ID file now. I go there. So click on them and then come out of it and then again go for the corrections. I had again requery. I think probably then go there. We go to the corrections and then what happens? I have to requery the GR number one zero two five. I will now make a requery of the GR number. So once only requery on the GR number, but now it's showing us three lines. Okay, fine. Got us. So uh, on the received transaction type, we have a balance quantity of ten now, and then accepted has got a balance quantity of sixty, and then the rejected has got a balance quantity of fifteen. Fine. As per the plan, there's no that. So sixty, fifteen, and ten are there. Now what I'm I have now done the uh, this thing. Now I'm going to deliver now. So I'm going to perform a delivery. Out of sixty, let me deliver forty-eight, and then out of fifteen, let me deliver eleven. Fine. Got us. We'll now go on and do the delivery now and go there. So we will not do the put away transaction on this. Now. Fine, go there. Click on the put away. Put away results now. So one zero two five is the GRN number again. One zero two five. And then give a tap. And then let me put away in this now. Click on search now. I am not going to put it away. So here you can now see the accepted and rejected are shown, but the received area, whatever is there, the ten quantities is not shown here because they are only eligible for a delivery. Fine, whatever is accepted and rejected. So even the rejections can be delivered. <coughs> Depending upon the requirement, what happens? You can even deliver it. If the requester wants, they have to be delivered. We can very well deliver. So the accepted and rejected TTs are not shown over here. No, I go there. So I will not keep my cursor on the accepted, and then what happens? I will not do a put away. No, I click on put away. Out of sixty, what I am going to do is I will not put away only forty-eight. No, I go there. I will not change the quantity from sixty to forty-eight. I make a change to forty-eight. No, my and then we, since it is an inventory, what happens? We have to specify the in sub inventory also. Sub inventory is a mandatory. No, I will not put asset sub inventory over here. No, I click on submit. So out of sixty, forty-eight is not delivered. I click on that. I go there. The put away transactions are completed. I go there. It is not done. So. Well, this is not gone there. I go there, and then on the rejected ones, I am not going to deliver what eleven. I have not delivered. 
QP cursor on this one and go there. I will keep it cursor and then click on the put away. <coughs> and then I'm going to deliver 11 now. So I'm going to deliver 15, 11. I'm going to deliver it now. I'm going to the sub inventory. <coughs> go there. And then click on the sub inventory. And then click on submit by which what happens. It is now completed now. So we are not in it. You must enter sub inventory. I have not entered sub inventory. Then go there. So we can even, what happens, uh, deliver a rejection one also into the subunitary depending upon the requester's requirement because he is ultimate authority and then he is moving it and go there. So we have, now what happens on this transaction type, on the accepted we have a balance of 12 and then the rejected is having a balance of 4. They are known as what? Parent quantity actually, fine. Uh, the parent quantity of this, I will show you, fine. So the accepted transaction has got a parent quantity of 12 and then the rejected has got a parent quantity of 4. Fine. So put away results is not done, go there, come back. Here what happens, we go on the requery now, fine, go there. So we'll see this. I click on it. I have to click on search now. <clears throat> so once I search it, what happens? I can now see the accepted. Okay, is not coming again. Fine. We have to give it done and then come out and then do it. I think probably because that is not coming it. Fine. Go there. I will now go to the character zips again. Fine. Click on the character zips. And then then I will now go and then query for the GRN number. 1025. Then give it tap. And then click on search now. So come out of it. Now what happens? We got this many lines of more here. Fine, come see what happens. Now uh, whatever is delivered is now having a deliver TT. The deliver TT or this is now having a 48 one. This deliver TT has got a 411 one. The accepted is now having a balance quantity of 12. The rejected is now having a balance quantity of 4. And then the receiving section 10 are there. Now. Fine, as per the plan. So 12, 4, as well as 10 is there. And then this 48 and 11. Fine. So 48, 11, 12, 4, and 10 are the quantities which are now shown over here. Now. 48, 11, 12, 4, and 10 are the quantities which are shown over here. Now. So we are not completed as well. No, fine, go there. We will not see the stock. We will not show as 48 plus 11 now. So let us go on and have a look at the stock now. Fine, go there. Manage item quantities. Go there. And then query for the purchase order number. For, query for the item actually. If you query for the item. And click on search now. You will not see. On hand will be 48 plus 11 which is 59 now. Fine. So in the receiving section we have 26 now. So the 26 corresponds to what? Uh, in the receiving section. <coughs> so uh, we have 12 plus 4 plus 10. All that we put together it is not showing as 26 now. Fine, 12 plus 4 is 16 plus 10 is 26. Because this is not the receiving area. This is now after inspection, we have a 416. And then before inspection, we have a 10 quantity. So it shows you everything as what 26 over here. And, and we are expecting 15 for the supplier actually. Fine, this is so it will not show you even before inspection and after inspection put together how much is not lying in the receiving area. Go there, not a, go there further and then go down. Fine, go there. So now what happens? We are now going to do this is the one. This is the equation now. Fine. So <clears throat> this is 16 plus 10 is not shown as a one area area. And then we have a what happens? The supply of 59 here. Now 59 is not shown over here. And then we have expected from supply is 15. Now. Fine, what is? So there's no come. So we are now going to perform the corrections now. So corrections will now take place in three different stages actually. First, I'm going to perform a correction. Fine. Well, you go there, we'll not perform a correction on this now. Fine. Perform a correction transaction on the delivery TD with a corrected quantity of 45 against 48. And then from the accepted transaction, and then six against eleven on the daily one, on the rejected one. So I'm going to perform it. So forty-eight, I'm going to correct as forty-five. The eleven, I'm going to correct as six. Now. Fine. So that means what? While the inventory boy is now putting it on the shelf, he is now finding that there is some misplacement. Some something is missing actually. So these are all exaggerated only for understanding purposes. It there will be maximum one or two maybe missing actually. So just for understanding purposes, we are exaggerating and then doing it now. Fine. When he is putting it on the shelf on the inventory, he finds that out of 45, only three, 45 is only there, three is missing. And then out of 11, what happens? Six is there, five is missing. So that we are going to do now. Fine. So we are going to perform a correction. So we are now seeing this line now. Fine. 15, 10, and then what about 16, 49? 16 plus 10 together is now showing you on the what's called the receiving section now actually. So 16 is after inspection, 10 is before inspection. We go there. So let us now perform this. So we will now perform this, this correction now. So we are going to perform this correction now. So once when you perform the correction, you will now see what exactly happens. So once when you perform a correction here, right, uh, you will now find that what happens, uh, this area, once again, I will now be able to shift it or not. You know, see, I will go there. So here, I will now go and show it to you. So I am going to perform a correction now. Fine, go there. So in this one, we have what happens, this much of a quantity available here, 48 and 11. So 48 will be corrected as 45 now. Fine, let us go and then perform the correction now. So in the character steps, I will not select the correction and then I will not correct it. And click on 48 is now going to be correct as 50. And click on correct now. So once when you correct it, it will now go and then appear on the back side now. and go there. So it is delivered. So this delivered has not come from this one now. In this one, from the accepted one, it has been delivered. So when I perform a correction, what happens? This transaction will be increased to 15, you can see. 48. The three missing will be increased here. Now. Like not, no else. Supplier will not be responsible till now. Fine, go there. We click on correct now. Fine. 48, I'm going to correct. The 12 will become a 15 now. The corrected quantity I'm writing as 45. Enables what happens. The correction quantity has to be written. Here, what happens? The corrected quantity. 
In EBS, we had to write as what? Minus 3. Here, what happens? We had to say, how much is now available? The corrected quantity is 45. Take on sub it now. So once when you perform a correction, you can now see what happens. The correction is not completed. <clears throat> so the 48 will now become 45. This total has become 15. So the item is supposed to be available in this section. And here, remember, supplier is not responsible. Supplier has to, what happens, still supply only 15 in the back. Now it's not coming as this one. 48, 45, now it's available. So this one, this correction of 11 is now corrected to 6. Fine, again, what happens? Sir? This is on the rejected transaction. Fine. So 4 plus 5, it will now go there. Fine. When you're correcting it to 6, fine. 11 to 6, what happens? It will now get added up again. And go there. Let us now perform a correction on this one. Fine. Click on it. I will now correct it. 11 is now getting corrected to 6. So let us now correct the six now. Five are missing. So click on submit. The correction is now made. So it will be appearing once one level back actually. If you go there, what happens now? Say the rejected transaction is having 19, and then this is having 15. Find the orders. 15, 9. So the equation is now the what happens? The present quantities are what? 45, 6, 15, 9, and 10. We'll now go and then have a look at it now. Find the orders. Go there. You cannot see. So 12 plus 3 is 15, 4 plus 5 is 9. That's what it's saying. And go there. Now the inventory quantity will also be having now. It will now show us 51 now. Can see and go there. We'll now have a look at the inventory quantity. My manage inventory quantity is going make a requery on this now. And click on it. So let us now make a requery. Click on search now. So once when you search it, what happens? It will now show us quantities 51 now. So in the receiving section, we have 34 quantities. 34 corresponds to what? 24. <coughs> Fine. 34 quantities are there. So 24 in the receiving section, that is after inspection and then before inspection, 10 quantities. So this is 12 plus 3, 15. 4 plus 5 is 9. Put together on the accepted one, what happens on the accepted TT, we have 15. On the rejected TT, we have 9. And then so what happens? We have 24 quantities. 24 plus 10, it is now integrating over here, overall. And go there. So it is not done. So first stage of correction is now completed. Remember, till now, whatever is missing, supplier is not responsible. Now we'll now perform a second stage of correction. And go there. I will now perform a uh, perform a correction transaction on the accepted TT only. If I'm not, I'm not going to do both basically. So in the accepted TT, we have 15 now. So what happens once when you make a correction, then what happens? The receiving section will now become responsible. When you make a check, what happens is this, the receiving section is having a quantity of 10. What happens now? It will have a quantity of 11 now. The receiving section will be having a quantity of 11 now. So I'm not going to perform only this now. I'm not touching this now. Right? In the second correction, I'm not going to make only a test of this now. I'm not making anything. In reality, what happens? We have to perform the correction one by one, all the three steps. Now, right? Everything, whatever is missing, we have to do everywhere, everywhere. Now, for understanding purposes, I'm not doing only on the accepted transaction of this and go there. So let us now perform the correction on this one. Fine. On the 15 one, I'm going to perform a correction. On the accepted one, when you do it, what happens? The 10 will now become the one. So initially, what happens on the delivered one when I do it, it does not come into expected, accepted. And then when I, the second correction, when I make it, what happens? The receiving section becomes responsible for it. Fine. Till now, supplier is not responsible at all. And go there. Select it and then click on correct now. On the 15, I'm going to make a correction to 14 now. Fine, it does not make a correction to 14 now. And go there. Click on submit now. Now what happens? One step back, it will not come. The correction is not completed. Now what happens? The receiving section becomes responsible for this. Fine, it goes initially 10. And then the expected quantity from the supplier will be still what? Only 15. No? Fine. Oh, only 15 we are expecting from you. So here, yeah, what happens? Now? So 23 plus 11 will be 14 now. Here, go there and then go. And then uh, what happens? You go there and see it's now. <coughs> 23 plus 11 is again 34 only. This is again 34 only. So from the receiving, from the accepted to receiving, it has come over here. Fine. It shows only the total quantity here. Fine. Go there. Not the afterwards, what happens? They go down and then see this is not fine. So now step number two is not better. Now we're going to perform another, another the third correction. So in the first correction, what happens? It has not gone there. And the third correction, I'm going to do it. Fine. Go there. So in the receiving section of 11, what happens? Let us say four quantities are missing. Fine. Or seven quantities are missing. In this place, when you correct it, then what happens? It will not reflect as what expected from supplier actually. Now only what happens, the supplier will become responsible. So the third correction I'm going to perform. So let me perform a correction on this now. Fine. 11 to what happens, I'll now make it as 4. Now. So here expected as 15, it will now become 22. Fine, go there. So in this place, I'm going to perform a correction. Now. You go to the correction now. And then I will now select the line. Fine, go there. Before it, what happens, I'll now go there. We'll now see what is the expected supply from supply. Fine, go there. So 2039 is a 1, the purchase order. Let us see what is the expected supply. Fine, go there. 2039. And then give a tap. And then click on search now. When you search it, what happens? It will now show you. 2039. It will now show you. Click on search now. <clears throat> so once when you search it, what happens? It says it's still only 15 is now expected from you. So till now, whatever corrections are made, we are expecting only 15 now. Now on the receiving section, when you perform a correction, what happens? Now supplier will become responsible. On the third correction, I'm going to. So on an inspection receipt plotting, what happens? If we had to perform three corrections, one by one, what happens? It will be going shifting stage by stage, and then only what happens? Finally, the supplier will be responsible. I click on that now. So let us now perform the correction again. Okay, now I go there. Click on it, and then select it, and then click on correct now. 
So I'm going to correct it. So 15, 11 is now corrected as 4. Now 7 is missing. Now fine. I'm not putting as a 4. Click on submit now by which the correction is now performed now. Go oh, the correction so on. Now what happens? It has now gone to 4. Now if you go there, what is this tab region? And then make a requery on this now fine. Click on the task carousel and then click on the expected consumption funds. And then 2039, I'm going to do it now. So 2039, and then give a tab. And then click on search now. <clears throat> now the supplier has to supply how much? He has to supply 22 now. Fine. Now 22 is come. So you must understand this now. If you are working on a what happens in an inspection reserve floating, we have to perform three corrections from inventory. Then only what happens, the supplier will become responsible. And no way the gate will be responsible. Because what happens when you make a correction, the gate is not responsible, mainly because what happens, gate is making a transaction based upon your DC only. They don't open the assignment at all. When whatever is written on the gate, whatever is written on the delivery channel, they are now making an entry. And so since they are not touching the consignments, they cannot be logically responsible. Only supplier has to be responsible. So when the, when the correction is performed in the receiving a receiving section, what happens? It goes to the supplier only. So here, what happens? You must remember it. Fine. On the delivery area, when you perform a correction, what happens? It will be going to the inspection, rejected or accepted. Fine. The first correction will not reflect on it. When you perform a second correction on this inspector or accepted, what happens? It will be reflecting on the receiving section. And then when you perform the third correction, then only what happens? The supplier will become responsible. So in a reserve inspection reserve floating, whenever an item is delivered, remember we had to perform three corrections on the same. Let us say two quantities are missing. You perform uh, the two missing on the delivery, and then you perform the two on the accepted. Then afterwards, you perform the two uh, corrections on the rejected. Then only what happens, the supplier will now become responsible for the missing two. So in other words, you do all the three, what happens, it will never become responsible at all. So it's a very complex one. Fine, we had to understand it. And then uh, some people do not understand. They, they make a correction, and then what happens, it is not ex expected that the gate is not increasing. As a two is not increasing, so they will not see that something has gone up, and then they will not perform a miscellaneous transaction, then try to adjust the stock, and then that is a very bad activity. Right? I have seen many guys when I was conducting a training for a, a sort of what happens. The first training uh, was on this reserve floating only because they are having plenty of routes on this now. So I clarified with this example. This is a, it's been taken only for the SRS actually, the SRF uh, serum fibers basically, and then uh, uh, then they become very clear upon this. Right? The material auditor will now raise objection whenever you perform any miscellaneous transaction because it's a very, uh, what happens, a very expensive transaction. <coughs> and then audit inquiry will be coming from a uh, thing if you make a thing. So you must understand about how, what happens, it is now going back, 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 and then what happens, it will not be affecting it now. I am conducting training on uh, fusion procurement as well as what happens, I will be soon conducting a training on fusion inventory also. Fine. Do write to me for any of your training inquiries to nanadap60 at uh, gmail.com. I have around 20 years of domain experience. I worked in uh, the, this domain when uh, there were no computers at the time onwards I'm working. So I have a very in-depth knowledge and then my training will be very useful for you, even though it will be slightly fast, but what happens, you'll be able to understand it very clearly. Fine. You'll be having a depth of courage and then I'm charging only 3000 rupees per module. So it's not a very expensive one. You can very well uh, think of it and then do it. Even though I'm not conducting training on all the pillars, what happens, this training will be definitely be very useful for you and then you'll be able to do a lot of things. Now, fine. So let us now say bye and then we'll now meet on the next video on any other thing. What I'm learning, I will be definitely be passing on to you. Fine. Best wishes for all of you. Now, fine. Bye. Now.